Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach James, and today we're going to talk about the short yarded situations. Fourth and one, third and one. Why can't we convert these, and what did we do on the ones we did convert? Uh, let's just take an overall look at our third and short, fourth and short situation from Sunday. Roll the intro. Before we get started on this short yard situation, I have a few housekeeping things I want to take care of. As of right now, you see the contributors to the channel on the screen. I want to say thank you to those guys. They're a big help to making this channel be successful and striving to grow. Uh, if you want to become a contributor and get your name on this list also, check the links in the description so you can see a way to do that that's convenient to you. Also, as you see right now, you see a list of names scrolling. I want to say thank you to all these people that contributed to the Super Chat uh, Sunday and Monday on the two live streams. I want to say thank you for those. Also, uh, they help tremendously. And let's get into the film. Uh, we're going to start off with our third down, our short yardage and third down situations, and, and, and we'll rotate to the fourth down. So let's let's start with the third down. There's one right here. Uh, we got a, a real heavy look with one receiver set. I think it's Demarcus Robinson out here. You got Ricard at fullback, Davis at tailback. Something different. I was really shocked by this, and it worked well. Just give it to Ricard. You know, I, I call him 42 for a lot of reasons, but um, this situation right here is he can do he can do this. There's no reason. This is part of his role on the team, things like this. And let's see what kind of push we get. Linderbaum gets a little stalemate. And it kind of creates a crease right here because, um, who is this? This is uh, Ben Powers is kind of sort of winning. He prevented that guy from slanting across his face. And um, Ricard just, you know, got in that crease and kept his legs dry. Kept his legs dry. And instead of it being a one-yard game, you'll see him fall out of there for about four yards. Which is different, and I like it. I mean, we didn't see this play again in the game. May see it later on in the season, but probably should have saw it later on in the game, too. All right, another short yardage situation. We got basically nine, nine guys up here. You got um, Oliver, Andrews. I think this is for Lele, and you got um, Ricard up here with Davis in the backfield, Lamar in the center. Trying to run a little power with all that. That's um, Ricard being a kick out, Powers being a rap guy. So basically looking at power to the right. Let's see what happens that we don't get this. So let me explain what should happen. Should be a down block there, a down block there. Should be a double there to the backside backer should be a down block there power should kick out kick out whoever shows up off marks but i'm sorry record should kick out whoever shows up off marks but then power should wrap to 52 or holland whichever one shows up in that hole that's what should happen Now, with him slanting inside, we sh this should be the double. With him slanting inside, that's perfect. It should double to that guy. You should have a kick out on the first dude off the butt. Then you should have the wrap to the linebacker. That's what should happen. Nobody gets to the backside back. Nobody gets to the backside back. And see, both of them still fighting right here on this double team. One got to come off. One of these two cats right here got to come off. You can't stay on that double team. Because if you if one if say this guy if he comes off right there forty nine is blocked. He's blocked, but because they stayed on the double team forty nine was able to creep right in there. Stop Davidson in his tracks and then allowed everybody else to come off. But the backside backer did not get blocked. Backside backer is always one of the most dangerous guys in zone schemes. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Versus gap scheme. Untouched. Nobody touched him. And all he did was what a linebacker should do, just scrape over and then hit the hole. Nothing spectacular. He just did his job. We didn't do ours on offense. That double team was not that important that you had to stay on it that long. 
sometimes old linemen and, and extra guys they get married to the double team and love it and feel like the running back one on one with a linebacker should win. And in most cases, the running back should win. But in goal line situations, you got to get moving and allow that guy to shoot the gap. You can't. That can't happen. All right, right here, another third and short situation, uh, which we thought we scored on. I think we're gonna get power again. Another version of power. This QB power this time. And it looked, you know, initially looked like we scored. But when you look at the replay, he didn't score. He didn't score. But let's see why he didn't score. Yeah, now you, you run the power again. You still should get down block, down block. Hopefully he can win the one-on-one because -on -one, that's probably the same matchup they had. Again, you're going to get a double. And you got to take out the backside back. The backside backer got to be taken out. So McCarr should pick and hinge him. Valeria should pick and hinge him. The car's coming to motion. He's unblocked off his backside. All right, here we go. You got your, you got your down block. You got your, your down block. You got your puller here, puller here. Uh, Moses one-on-one -on -one with this cat. You got your double team again. So we're setting up for the same type of look. But we, have, we should have an extra person this time because Lamar's running it and not handing it off. Now you got three guys coming around. You got Davis for an outside guy. You got Ricard should be kicking the next guy off of Mark Andrews' butt. And you got Power should be rapping to whatever backer shows up. Right now we should have it. But again, these two didn't learn. We're not blocking this cat who turns and makes the same, the same person makes the tackle as the last play. Look at it right there. The same freaking person. So how do we not learn from that? The same guy makes the tackle as as the play last time because because they stay on a double team right here these two tight ends and don't get the backside back. If I can see this and I'm at my career, how they can't see this on the the tablet at the game? And all they do is football all the time. I just I have to do other stuff. All right, now let's take a look at these these fourth and shorts, these fourth down plays. Extremely creative. I was impressed by this one. I was impressed by that one. Got about three or four yards. Kind of like the record play. Something different. Something I hadn't seen out of our team. Basically getting a quarterback sneak with, with Andrews. A bigger bigger person. Not saying Lamar small, but just a bigger body. I think they in turn did the same thing to us later on in the game. We got pushed. Got pushed up the middle. Powers, Linderbaum, and Zeitler. Got pushed. All right, I think we all know what happened on this one. Um, whether it was a snap or the Lamar, Lamar receiving it, I'm not really sure. It looks like Lamar had it and kind of lost it trying to go forward. I, but I don't, I'm not blaming anybody because I don't know. I can't really tell or see even when they zoomed in. I don't know what happened. Just know that we faltered and didn't get it. Um, would we have got? Did we have enough push? Maybe. I'm not sure. Lamar's under there somewhere, but I don't. You know, I'm not sure. Basically, it was a fail. It was a fail. This next one with, with with us being in the shotgun you know it's some kind of QB run you already know that now we try to power this way try to power to the left try, try to the right a couple times got stonewalled let's see why we got stonewalled though hmm Kari missed. All right, so let's see. Do, do we have a puller? Yes, Zyke was pulling. So this is what should happen. Power again to the left and, you know, draw it up. Should be a down block. Should be a down block. McCarr's got to kind of fight him one-on-one -on -one to try to get on the outside shoulder. You should have a double out of these two. Somebody going to this backside back. Somebody going to that backside back. I think Mark's going to come and try to kick out whoever's off of Carr's butt. Um... Not sure what Mike's doing, but then you're going to get Zeitler pulling for a linebacker, and then you got an extra blocker with Davis to sh pick up anything that come across. So, Makari misses. Now, instead of Falele, you know, have, being able to come off and maybe go do something with a linebacker, he now has to pick up this guy. So, now we're down a block because Makari missed. So, now we're down a man. So, now you got this guy coming, you got this guy coming, you got this guy coming. That's three on three. 
that that's um discounts for Davis um Mark and Zyla that's that three but then you also got this free guy coming this fourth guy and you got Lamar as the fourth guy so now the numbers are even because this miss block when originally you would have liked him to go there so maybe maybe Lamar's a little bit too fast maybe maybe because he need he really needs to be behind this he really needs to be behind that but still it's fourth down you're trying to go you ain't trying to wait I'm gonna say Zyla probably needs to be faster that's what I'm gonna say Zyla probably needs to be faster or somebody else needs to be pulling because they Davis get a kick out so it's good on Davis part Ricard it misses he doesn't he's on the wrong side this this dude should not be able to spin out of this but it shouldn't be this wide either it should I, I mean it should be right there that's where it should be he, sh he should be a step behind that's he see you got a kick out there you got him in the kick out he should be right there should I just, there's no other way around it he, he should be right there he's he's ahead of the blockers he's ahead of the blockers if he was behind the blockers, look at that. But again, we got issues on third downs, man, um, and fourth down. These last plays was fourth downs. We got to be able to move people. And you see it's just, it just wasn't the O-line. It was a combination of a lot of stuff. But it was them shooting gaps and us not taking care. Two plays, it was the same guy, not blocking the backside backer. So the tight ends didn't adjust to that. Uh, this last play, it was Zeitler losing, which created a numbers mis mismatch in their favor. Um, it's just a team offensive issue, not a one-person issue, not a one-unit issue. It's an offensive issue. It starts from the top. So, you know, this is a look at our third and shorts, fourth and shorts from Sunday versus the Dolphins that, you know, a couple of we converted. If I'm thinking off the top of my head, we converted two. The fullback dive to... Uh, Ricard and then the quarterback sneak with Andrews and I don't think we got the rest of them. So um, These things can be fixed though. They can be fixed. It's week two. They can be fixed They just need to start getting fixed and because uh, we really needed this win and not that the season is over but This win this loss may hurt us down the line But if, if we're a game behind or if we want a cushion or something like that because we had this game in the bag and just didn't finish But again, I appreciate everybody for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me uh, like comment share uh, subscribe to uh, to the channel um, subscribe to my social medias uh tip the tally films on ig coach evans nine on uh twitter and and i'll see y'all soon man this is the first of two for tuesday august 20th peace